Welcome, welcome back to Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon, the walkthrough. This is episode six. And here we are again. If you like this content already, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment down below on what you think so far. All right. As for what happened last time, uh, we, uh, oh yeah, we, uh, we had to uh, like go through like, uh, we learned some new stuff and uh, we got off a little on camera grinding and, uh, and we got ourselves, like, up to level 10. We're getting stronger by the second. And Wario's still in timeout for his little escapade from two episodes ago. Anyways, let's continue on with the walkthrough. Alright, we're all here. Yep. Yeah. Let's get going. Set to school. All right, children, it's time for health class. Today, we'll be learning about evolution. What evolution? Isn't my, like maturing quickly? What are you talking about? Don't you know what evolution is? Evolving just means you'll just get bigger. And I, for one, want to get bigger. Well, that's way, one way to sum it up, yes. What, will get bigger? It's not your only bodies get larger, though. It causes many other changes. Evolving doesn't bring you closer to being an adult. So in that case, Benikin's assumptions are not entirely off base. Wait, what? Well, okay. What's that supposed to mean? In addition to evolving, you may... I I excuse me. Huh? I'm sorry, but have you seen Badoo today? Huh? Little Badoo? Here? No, I certainly haven't. Isn't it another year before Badoo is due to start school? Oh, what am I to do? I searched all over the neighborhood, but found no sign of her. <laughs> what? You mean Badoo has gone missing? Maybe I should contact the sheriffs. I'm sorry for interfering your class like this. Uh, oh my, are you all right, Roselia? Yes, it's just that I've been getting so dizzy lately. Will you come with me, sweetie? I want you to rest for a bit in the school clinic. So that's Roselia. Yes, apparently. What could have happened to Badoo? It makes you worry, doesn't it? Well, of course you would, dearling. You're just so kind-hearted. But it seems to be like you might be overreacting over one kid just wandering off. How can you say that? How could you not worry when a tiny kid like that goes missing on her own? Ah, oh, man. Hinton is still as rude as ever. Yeah, he, yeah, he is. It's true that her mo mother would at least get it worried about it. Wait, Badoo? Isn't the Badoo that we saw back then? I think you're right. Badoo, Rosalia's little one. Honey baking season has begun, chum. Many Pokemon like Beedrill and Colby all get together to bake heaps of honey. However, they're on edge while making honey. Stay safe and steer clear until they are all done. Especially a wee child like yourself. It's best to give Nectar Meadow a wide berth at this time of year. Could it be that Badoo just went anyway? Oh, that's a big point. She might have gone after her honey. Yeah, she may be after the honey. What is it, Blade? I think... I think she know where it ran off to. What? Do you have an idea where Badoo may have gotten off? To Nectar Meadow to get honey. Nectar Meadow? To get some honey? It is true that honey-making season has begun in Nectar Meadow. If she did go there, Badoo may be in real danger. <laughs> Why are you falling for this liar's story? Don't you remember the ridiculous tales he was blamed with spewing just yesterday? Huh? I can't believe you're all falling for it again. Who would swallow that? You're all getting tricked again. Oh man, that was a close one. I nearly got fooled there. What? None of us are gonna none of them are gonna help you? I guess not. So they won't believe a word I would say? Well then. 
In that case... What? Blaine! Well, hey, what are you... You can't just run out in the middle of class? What a fool! As if any of us would follow. I can't wait to see the chewing out and then Blade is gonna get out from the teacher. <laughs> Blade... Uh, it's... No way am I ever gonna let this go. If no one else believes me, then I'll just simply go by myself. I'm going straight to Nectar Meadow. Then let's go. Red, red school. But first, we're gonna put away all the, all the money. I think I'm good to go. Hold up, Blade. <sighs> Then again, what are you doing here? I did it. I ditched class too. What? I'm going with you. I believe you, Blade. Fennigan, wow. Fennigan. Mm. Come on, let's take on Nectar Meadow. We're going to find Badoo. All right, then let's go. Oh, and one other thing. If we get the chance, let's give that Alliance thing a shot. We just learned about it yesterday, so we ought to at least give it a try. Yeah, I think so too. We'll do it on the way. Here we go. All right, unsilence, everyone. That's how you do it. Fine whip. Ember. Getting close. I think we're at least halfway there. Let's keep going. Mm. 
Upgraded. It's now vine with level two. So that's how it happens whenever you use it so much. Yeah. the Barrage Amara's ability. We can attack twice.
critical. I believe man increases your chances of landing a critical hit. I think so too. come up for something with it pretty soon. supposed to go to find honey. Uh oh, this looks like trouble. Where are you going? Hmm? Uh, I, I was looking for some honey. What? Are you a honey thief? No, no I never. Come be, to me. Call me. What is it? What is it? It's a honey thief. I'm scared. What? This child? This one? She seems pretty young. Pretty young. Looks don't mean everything. You can be a pretty ferocious despite your own cute looks. What? What? It couldn't be. Wait. Badu, you're all right. Thank goodness. We came to save you. So you're a band of thieves. <laughs> So she truly is a thief. A thief! What? No, we're just... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No time for your excuses. We are too busy after all. Buddy, get behind us. We'll expel you thieves at once. Here they come. This isn't fair, man. Yeah, it's not fair. It's a two-on-five fight. Uh, let's just take them down one at a time. Uh. Oh! Hey! It ain't 
the Reviver Seed. You did not just do that. What are we gonna do? We don't have any Reviver Seeds left. No matter. What do you mean, no matter? Because we have something we can change this battle around. Totter Orb. Makes everything into confused. I'm taking Orb Berry, too. Oh, man, this is getting intense, man. Yeah. Keep it up. All right, that's one down. And the bee drill. Alliance. Oh, oh, we missed the log, but we still got him. Ow. Come on, come on, go, go, go. seem weak, but you're actually quite strong. Ugh. But we must end this quickly. We must hurry and make honey. Ooh. We must all attack at once. They can't handle us. <laughs> halt! Whoa! Uh, Mistress Vespa Queen! Mama! Beedrill, Combi, calm yourselves. Your opponents are mere children. And they are no thieves. Oh. I hope you can forgive such a rude welcome. This happens to be our honey-making season. We are terribly busy during this time, and everyone's emotions tend to run hot. I'm afraid you have come at a rather, rather dangerous time. I do hope you understand. Um, are you? I am Vespa Queen, the Queen of Nectar Meadow. What? The, the, the Queen? <laughs> well, I may be a queen in name, but I'm more like a manager in function. Um, your majesty, um, I came here because I wanted to get some honey. So you are a fool? <laughs> Calm yourself. I take it this is how you found yourselves in the fight I interrupted. What good will come of repeating your previous mistakes? I brought my allowance and all. My mom has been looking kind of pale lately, and she's always tired. And I heard that honey makes you really nutritious. I really thought my mom could have some honey to eat. She'd surely get better. So that's... You are a very sweet and considerate child. Aw, oh, that's nice. You don't need any of your money. You may have this as a gift from me. Really? Thank you so much. Now hurry back to your home, child. I do hope your mother will recover. Quite a nice lady. <sighs> I suppose so. Mm. Yeah, she was pretty nice. Thank goodness. Did you know how worried I would be? So glad you're all right. Mom, I brought you some honey. Eat all up and get better, okay? Thank you, sweetie. But please, from now on, don't go anywhere dangerous without me. Okay, Mom. Aww. Thank you both so much for what you did. Thanks to you, my childhood is home safe. Please take this as my thanks. What do we get? Perfect apple, leather looplet, a guiding wand, a pure seed. Not bad. I am so grateful that you would worry about my Badoog and go to save her. But you're also children yourselves. Please try not to be too reckless. I'll take Badoog home now. Thanks, Blade. You, Fennekin. really good that we found Badoo before anything bad happened. In the end, we skipped school to do it, but I'm still glad we went. It's gotten really dark now. Yeah, I'm too late getting home. Those leaves will probably chew me out. Guess we should start heading back. Yeah, we should. Hey, Blade? That story about you being a human? Well, I believe it. What? Yeah, alright. I decided. Blade, I want you to be my friend. Huh? Isn't that a bit blunt? Why does it sound like an order? No one believes anything you say right now. Well, the, no pulled punches there. Mm. But 
That's the same way they treat me. So I really understand how you feel. It gets lonely when no one ever believes in you or what you say. But if you have just one friend who will believe in you, then you'll be really happy. So as two fellow outcasts that no one believes in, why don't we start believing in each other as friends? See, then we have all to do is get another friend, then another, and another. And someday we'll have more friends than we can count, just like those stars up there. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So, Blade, um, be my friend. I mean, please, please be my friend. No, that's not quite right either. Sorry. I really hope we can be friends. I promise to stand... Whoa. Wario. Sorry. You ruined the moment. Ah, sorry. And you were still grounded. Get back there. Wait. I have a good thing. What? Wario, why did you pass that? I thought it was the right option. Really? You really be my friend? I guess I can forgive you, Wario. Just, just don't do any rash decisions like that next time, okay? Yeah, okay. I'm going now. All right, thank you, Blade. From today, Fawn, we're officially friends. Oh, I know. Let me see. Here they are. Blade, I'll give you one of these. Are those scarves? Yeah, I have two of them. My pops found me when I was just a baby, see? Apparently I was all wrapped up in these scarves, so I've always held on to them. But I want to show you that I appreciate your being my friend, so I'm giving you one. Here, why don't you try putting it on? What? Oh? Oh! Wait, it totally suits you. It looks really good, really. Nice. We're looking pretty spiffy, huh? <laughs> At any rate, these scarves will always be... The proof of our friendship. Oh, it's gone really late. Let's head home. And I'll come by your place so we can walk to school together. See you tomorrow. Hmm. Before we end off, let's see this epilogue. I mean, the other area? Yeah, I suppose. I'm telling you, it's the truth! Who will believe a tale like that? He isn't called the big boss of the Northern Seas for nothing, you know. I didn't even get what you were trying to say in the first place. I know, exactly. That's why I ask you guys to come with me into this dark stretch of the ocean. Oh, we're nearly there now. Really? What is it? What's down there? What is this? Stone? I think. Uh, I can't really tell. It's still too dark. Let's back up a little. Okay, let's try shining all our lights on it together. What do you guys see? What in the- Are you serious? It can't be! Hmm. Away! Loyal Lord! Loyal Lord has- Has what? Been turned into stone? Oh no, oh no. What could have done this? Well, we'll figure that out later in the next walkthrough. All right, everyone, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment down below on what you think so far. All right, have a good night, have a good day. Peace. Peace. <laughs>